Nice to see you guys again. Today we are going to discuss a simple process which will be quite useful for many programmers. Most of you guys will be using Git and you might have faced conflicts when merging changes. Today we are going to see how to use Visual Studio Code to resolve the conflicts easily. First of all, we can create an example scenario. I am converting this folder to a Git repo using git init command. Now we can create a new file here with some content inside. Let's commit this new file, typing git add dot to state the changes and then git commit with this message. If anybody is a beginner here and not able to understand all these things, you can watch our video on git. Link is there at the info button and also in the description as well. For easier management of version control, I am switching over to source tree. I am opening source tree and I am adding this repo here. I have already explained all these things in our video on Git, so I am doing all these uh, quickly. Okay, now this repo has been added here. You can see our first commit and contents of the file here. Now I am going to add a few lines in that file. But later I understood that before making this change, I have to write some other lines. So what we can do here? Git has a feature called stashing. For those who don't know, stashing is the process in Git which will store all our changes for later use. Since I am making a conflict through stashing, so for easier understanding I have written the new line like this. Ok, so we can see that there are some uncommitted changes. Now we can stash those changes. We have to name this stash bundle. So put some text here. Now you can see there are no uncommitted changes because we have stored all those changes to stash directory. See, this file has been restored into the first commit state. Our second line has been disappeared. Now as I said earlier, we can write new lines as we required. Just for easier understanding, I have used line 3 here. Now we can commit this file. But we also want to update this file with our previously stored stash content. So first we have to stage this file and then right click on the stash item on the left panel then click apply. If there are several stash items you can distinguish them using their stash name which we put while creating stash. So this dialog box will appear for confirmation click yes and then this alert on conflict will come. This is what we want. This method is saying that there are merge conflicts. So now we have to resolve those manually. Ok, let's look inside. Now you see there is another file.txt appeared at unstaged files category. Before continuing, let's understand what method is followed by git to resolve conflicts. We can understand what we did here first. We had a first commit, then we have made some changes to the parent file and then stashed it. Then again we made changes to the same parent file for the second commit. So these two versions of the file have the same origin. Now we are going to merge stashed contents into this file. In Git's terminology, the parent file is called the base and the file already existing in the directory is called local and the file where changes are coming is called the remote. Now we will move to resolving conflicts part. There are two methods. Either we can resolve all conflicts all at once or line by line. We will start with second strategy first. You can open the file.txt and you can see changes going to affect our line. The conflicts lies within these arrows. The upper portion is the local changes and the lower one is the remote changes. Manually we have to delete the unwanted portions from our files. Two to three conflicts this would be feasible. But imagine if there are several conflicts. Anyway, we will discuss about the easier method soon. In the first strategy, in order to resolve conflicts all at once, we should know clearly about the remote and local changes. Either we can accept changes from the remote or from the local. For that, in source tree window, right click on the staged file. Under resolve conflicts, there are two options, resolve using mine and resolve using theirs. Here mine means local and this means remote. So if we click on resolve using mine, the conflicts from the stashed file will be discarded from merging and if we click on resolve using this, conflicts from the local file will be discarded. So now we can discuss about the easier part using Visual Studio Code. For that we can open this file.txt in VS Code. You can see the first line from the first commit and we have the conflicts shown here. 
and above these lines you can see four options accept current change accept incoming change accept both changes and compare changes if we click on accept current change local changes will be accepted let's see that Hope you understood. Let's revert that by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Again, we can test other options too. Accept incoming changes will take remote changes. Great, you have seen it. I am going back again. Now we can try click on accept both changes. We got contacts from both the files. Now last option, compare changes. This will open a new window to show us the differences of the remote and local file contents. I am going back to our file and then for time being I am accepting incoming changes. So we have resolved the conflicts manually. So now we can save the file and then we can go back to source tree and right click on the staged file. Under resolve conflicts click mark resolved. Click ok for confirmation. Now you can see the updated content here. Ok. Now we can commit the file directly. Success. Again, we can verify the content of the file here. Great, it is the same that we had expected. Now, I will show you how to resolve several conflicts using VS Code. For that, quickly I am creating a main.c file in the same folder. Adding the file to version control, committing the file, I am pasting some base code portion from somewhere, committing the changes. So now we have our base file ready. Let's make some changes for stashing. Added some changes to printf statement here. Now we can stash the changes. Okay, let's make some changes again. Now we can stage main.c. Now we can apply stash. Yeah, we got the conflicts message. Great. Now go back to VS Code. So manually you can accept the changes by clicking on the options. Now, if you are sure that you have to apply changes from the local file, press Ctrl plus P on keyboard and type merge. So, you will see several options. You can see accept all both, accept all current and accept all incoming. Click accept all current. Now, all the conflicts will be resolved with changes from the local file. Another advantage of this method is some conflicts you can resolve manually using these options. And for remaining group of conflicts, this uh, accept all option can be used to resolve all at once. File compare option is also available here. Anyway, now manually accepting changes one by one. Finally, after saving the file, we will go to source tree for committing. And uh, I'm clicking markers resolved. Now let's click on commit. So finally, this is the final content as we required. Hope you guys understood this. Due to office steps, I am not able to upload videos on time. I apologize for that. We will meet again with another interesting learning content. And thank you for supporting me with your love. Bye guys.